We'll start off nice and easy. Just a bowl, a little pasta, some fresh tomatoes. You know, the, uh, the great Italian filmmaker, Federico Fellini, uh, was famous for saying that life is a combination of magic and pasta. Well, in Miami, uh, one of America's best chefs, uh, Scott Conan, has created a pasta dish that is so simple, so elegant, and yet so flavorful that those who have tasted it believe there may be some kind of magic going on in the kitchen. Number 10, spaghetti and tomato sauce, Sarpeta, Miami, Florida. The uh, spaghetti with tomato and basil, it's the go-to dish for people. It touches that perfect part of your stomach. It hits your insides in just the right way. It's warm, it's comforting, it's good. I mean, it's just delicious. Oh, first time you've ever oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Bon appetito. Anytime I'm sad, I just want spaghetti. I don't know what it is, it just makes you feel so much better. Most people, when they go to Miami, they, you know, make a beeline for a Cuban restaurant, but really you should make a, a beeline for the spaghetti at Scarpetta. When you go to Scarpetta, you have the spaghetti with tomato sauce. It's a dish that it cannot just be duplicated. It's Conan's devotion to flavor that makes this dish special. This dish, I think, is a little bit more elevated than what you get in a very, very rustic Italian trattoria. Yum. It's kind of like a one, two, three punch, where you get the tomato, you get the basil, and then you get more creamy tomato flavor and Parmesan cheese. What makes this dish elevated really comes down to the ingredients. He uses the freshest pasta, the freshest tomatoes available, and also his technique. It's like very natural. There's not much to it. It's very simple, Just but it's amazing. so flavorful. I say the, the key to this spaghetti isn't what you do to it. It's kind of what you don't do to it. We make our own pasta. I use egg yolks and double zero flour. And about three tablespoons of semolina flour as well. And then we roll the dough out into these long sheets. And then once it's the proper thickness, we, we cut it nicely. Then we start with fresh tomatoes, a very hot pan, with extra virgin olive oil inside of it. And then we'll just add those tomatoes in a handful of salt. This is the time when you want them to get crushed and you really want to bring out all those juices. And we don't really cook the tomato sauce for more than 45 minutes over a medium high heat. And we just crush it the entire time. The reason why I cook it for so little time, my mother still, God bless her, I love her. And I love her tomato sauce. But she cooks that stuff for about three days. <laughs> and at the end of it, it really loses all the elements of a fresh tomato. Uh, and this isn't a knock, mom. I really, I'm not knocking it. Then we cook the pasta about three quarters of the way in salted water. I always say that salt and then the water should taste like broth. Adding the pasta directly to that tomato sauce and just letting it absorb, and it, just inherently by itself, starts to create that little creaminess with the starches from the pasta. Add a little bit of butter, flipping it around, and fresh basil, touch of Parmesan cheese, and off the fire, just toss it together. It's that simple. Absolutely some of the best spaghetti I've ever eaten. I don't know how I'm ever gonna eat her spaghetti again. It's like a potato chip where you can't just take one bite. You're always going back for that second bite. And I, you know, it's so simple and so straightforward. When I was single, I used to get dates with that dish. <laughs>